Today, I'm showing you how to make musical monkeys. Awesome cinematic transformations like this. And some super cool GTA 5 style anime like this. Why should you care? Well, for one thing, these types of videos are getting millions of views on social media, and with millions of views comes some pretty interesting ways to monetize your content. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, in order to create a video like this, it's actually very, very simple. It only consists of a few steps. So first I'm gonna come into Mid Journey right here. You can use any image generation tool of your choice. In this case, I just went ahead and entered my prompt into Mid Journey, and I'm going to send that, which you can get access to all the same prompts that I'm using in the Creator Secrets School community. So here, I'm just going to rerun this a few times so we have some options. So now I have a nice selection of monkeys playing guitars right here. And so now all I'm gonna do is go through these images and download the ones that I want. The next step is to run these images through Magnific right here, because as you can see, Magnific adds a lot of really intricate, subtle detail, a lot of you know AI image generation tools. The images, no matter what you do, are going to sometimes look a little bit airbrushed uh, and stuff like that. So running them through Magnific adds a lot of realism to the image. And again, just adds these really intricate, fine details to give it that super cinematic look. As you can see here in the monkey's face, you can really see a lot of extra detail in the face, the wrinkles, the hair, even the wood grains on the guitar and everything like that. The next step is to drop those images into Kling AI. And all I did here was put the image and then I added the prompt, a monkey playing guitar. And the most important thing here is to make sure you have this on professional mode. And that's what's going to retain this really cinematic detail when you generate the clip. And so here's what I ended up with right here. As you can see, it looks really good, super realistic, nice and cinematic. Here is another clip right here. And then the third clip right here, which in this case, it kind of looks like the monkey's trying to sing or something like that. In any case, after you have your clips, you can drop them into your favorite video editor. You can obviously use whatever editor that you want. In this case, I'm using Premiere Pro. And then the last step, you can come into Artlist right here, and this is where you can get non-copyright music. So I'm just gonna type in guitar, and now it's gonna bring up a bunch of songs that are using guitar. And now I'll drag my song into the project, and just like that, we now have monkeys playing a guitar. The next one here, we have this account that does these really cool kind of morphing effects with, you know, famous characters from from different shows. In this case, we have Rick uh, from The Walking Dead kind of transforming into this zombie. So now I'm back on Midjourney, and in this case, I'm just using a prompt that says a photorealistic image of Rick from The Walking Dead. And let's see what this comes up with. I'll rerun it a few times. And these came out pretty good. Midjourney definitely does the best job when recreating famous characters in this way. I think I like this one the most, so I'll go ahead and download that one. And now the next prompt is basically going to be the same thing, but in this case, I'm gonna say as a zombie, and let's see what that gives us. And so here, I just wanna find one that's like part zombie, but still sort of looks like him. So I think we'll go with this one. I'll go ahead and download that. And now I'm just trying to progressively get closer to the zombie here. I think this one is probably a pretty good progression from there. And then maybe this one here. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna run all these images through Magnific. You can see it just adds a ton of detail on these images. And so now I'm just going to download these and we'll move on to the next step. All right, so now we're back in Kling right here and it's going to be a very similar process. However, in this case, I'm going to bring my image in 
And the only difference we're going to make here is I'm gonna click this button here that says add an end frame. So this way we're basically moving from one image to the next. So I'm using the human version of Rick as image one. And then the next image where he's, um, you know, starting to become a little bit more of a zombie here. In this case, I'm just gonna leave the prompt blank and see how it goes. I'll click generate. So now on the next one, I'm going to remove these images. And in this case, I'm gonna start on the first slot with the second image here. And then this one will be the next progression. And again, I'll just leave the prompt blank and see how it goes. And then finally, I have this to the final version of his zombie form there and we'll click generate and see what we get. By the way, if you wanna see how I track the top performing niches and videos so that I always know what kind of niches are performing the best, I have all that information in the Creator Secrets community on school, along with all the prompts, tools, and resources that you need to create these kind of videos, in addition to the monetization strategies that will turn your views into money. The link for that will be down in the description below, so be sure to check that out. So here's the results I ended up with on Kling and there's some interesting things to note here. So at first I tried, you know, merging the images with no prompt at all. Again, this is on the professional mode right here. And as we can see, it's not really working that well. It's kind of just doing a quick transition to the next scene. And so eventually I tried adding this prompt in here that says a man transforms into a zombie. And again, it kind of just does a quick transition into the next scene. It's not really morphing or anything like that. So I went on to try a number of different prompts. A man slowly morphs into a zombie, etc. And none of these transformations came out properly. In the end, the issue turned out to be that apparently Kling absolutely refuses to morph characters on professional mode. So I ended up switching it back to standard mode. And now we can see it does a perfect morph from one character to the next right here. So that's just an interesting side note with Kling AI. If you are morphing characters like this, apparently you do not want to do that on professional mode. And instead, you want to make sure that you have it on standard. All right. So now that we have our clips, I'm going to bring these into Premiere Pro and I'll just arrange these to be in order. I'll throw a soundtrack on here. And what we're left with is this right here. All right, so the next style of content we're gonna talk about is this um, Grand Theft Auto V style anime, which in this case, they're basically just taking characters from the show One Piece and they're giving it this sort of GTA V aesthetic. And so once again, we're gonna head back into Mid Journey. And just for fun, we'll do some Game of Thrones characters this time. So I put the prompt Jon Snow from Game of Thrones drawn in GTA V art style. Let's see what we get. Okay, so here is the end result. And this first prompt didn't end up working out. So I ended up changing it a little bit. And then we started getting a much better GTA style look right here, which the prompt basically says, an anime Jon Snow from Game of Thrones drawn into GTA 5 art style stands confidently with a Florida inspired landscape. And so these then started to come out pretty good. We've got Jon Snow, we've got Daenerys Targaryen right here, Tyrion Lannister. These are supposed to be Arya, but it did have somewhat of a hard time with Arya. Cersei Lannister here, and of course, Jaime Lannister here. And finally, we have Sansa Stark over here. So now I'm just gonna go through and download the ones that I want. And now that I have all of my images downloaded here, I'm just going to drag them one at a time into this tool called Immersity. And this is basically going to add some dynamic motion, a little bit of movement uh, to the image. So now I can choose between vertical, horizontal, this sort of circle movement, and a number of these other presets. So now I'm just gonna run all of the images through this to add this subtle motion to it. All right, so after getting all the clips, I can just drag them into Premiere Pro. And then from here, I can just rearrange the clips however I want. And then I'll throw a soundtrack on here. And here's what we got. So 
So there you have it. That is three super simple AI methods that are going really viral right now. And don't forget, if you want to see all the prompts, tools, and most importantly, the monetization methods so that you can turn your views into money, be sure to check out the community on school. That's it for this one. See you in the next video.